Hey, what's going on everybody? This is John from Volkswagen Plant, and you may be asking, why are you holding a fan shroud? Well, today I'm going to explain to you, or the uh, maybe someone new out there, or maybe someone who's just getting involved with Volkswagens, explain to them how we keep our beloved classic Volkswagens cool and on the road. For those of you who don't know, Volkswagen, are the, the old classic Beetles, the, um, the classic, you know, for 50s and 60s and 70s, not the new Beetle that we're all, you know, have been seeing thousands on the road. But uh, the old classic Volkswagens don't have a radiator like most modern cars. So what we have on the older classics is what we have air-cooled. And just like the title says, or just like the, uh, the name says, air-cooled air. So, you know, it's kind of crazy to believe there is, there is no radiator. So I'm going to explain to you how the Volkswagen was designed to uh, use air to keep the engine block down to a reasonable temperature. So um, this is called a fan shroud. It is an OEM style. I'm not sure if it's original or not, but you know that doesn't make a difference. This is what's called wid ducts. There would be tubes down here, which would be that which would go to the breastplate, and that was part of the uh, how to paint your engine tins on a budget, which would be the last couple of videos. And that's why I uh, thought about doing this video because I started painting this one or take this one apart and scuffing it and I realized that there's not too many uh, videos out there to explain this. So we'll get back to this. Uh, we'll get back to the air cooled stuff and um, like the, the title des describes. So I'm going to show you if you this right here would be if you open the deck lid you see this big shroud well what this does and what's hiding behind here I'm gonna show you here in just a second so this is your generator here I'll just put this in here real quick this is your generator and there would be a cover here and your belt would go down to your crank and as, as you're spinning or as you're hitting the gas this spins 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 and you ever wonder why or what this does? Well, every Volkswagen was designed to was a real minimalist type of um, operation. So what they did is behind this backing plate. Let me put this down real quick. There's a fan. So this would be like this, and this is what's actually going on behind the scenes. So as the alternator or alternator or in this case generator spinning you can see the slotted fins on there and this is what keeps the Volkswagen nice and cool on the inside let's see if I can get it to uh, show the fin you see all those little slotted fins in there well on this side here so this would be the alternator or generator and then back, it's got this is where the cool air would come in and it would spin and it spins into those fins. So, on those fins here, it comes out and it goes across your engine tins. And that's why they keep saying that it's a really good idea to make sure you have all your engine tins in place so you get the most contact area to cool your engine tin, to cool your cylinders and the heads down. On the Volkswagen because that's the only way it can keep itself cool. Now in the back here I'm going to show you this, well let's do it this way. On some Volkswagens you're going to see it, it will be this or it will it have the, the, the dog, the uh, housing like this or some of them don't have the housing. On this situation it has the housing right here and what would be right here would be what's called an upright oil cooler. Of course it's bigger than this but it sits like this and when the the fan is spinning it it goes across those um, engine those those fins I showed you and what comes across and it gets blown through here it gets blown through the oil cooler the oil cooler is like a radiator just you know to, to put it in real simple layman's terms and it, it goes through it gets pushed through here to keep the cool, to keep the engine uh, oil as cool as possible, and that's why it's very important in the uh, the classic Volkswagen to make sure everything has all its proper seals, all its you know all the engine tins. There's a reason why they're there. It's not you know 
just, uh, well, we don't need that. No, there's a purpose for every little thing when it comes to cooling your Volkswagen. So when you think, ah, that's not, that's not very important, or you hear their, the, um, some of the veterans always talk about, make sure you seal the engine compartment as much as possible. Well, there's a reason. That simple little $1.99 part can make that engine, you know, could starve that engine or make the engine run hot. You know, put a put uh, the piston in the side of the the head or come out the. You have a rod failure. All those engine, you know, um, situations and problems can happen just over a simple seal. I know it sounds crazy, but there's not much. Their tolerances are so close and so tight on these motors that there's there's really not much to uh, to give away or to uh, to tolerances are so close. So. When you see in the magazines, you know, like uh, the little seal that goes here, it's very important. You might not think, ah, it's just a dollar or so, or the quote, nobody sees this, so, you know, it's not all the glamorous, or it's not chrome. Well, chrome don't get you home is what, you know, everybody, you know, in the hot rod, in the field, the business, or any class of cars will tell you. Yeah, it's nice to have all the shiny things, but you got to have the, uh, the non-glamorous things to, uh, for reliability. So, if you guys are into Volkswagens, don't forget to put the seals here. It's very important. And what I had to do, and I'll show you on some upcoming videos, that I actually took the housing here and I tapped the the housing to make this even closer. So that's when I put that seal on there, it's like you know extremely close and tight. So I'll get more airflow across, you know, down across my um, oil cooler, which will in turn shove the air across the engine tins like I just subscribed or like I just described not subscribed so that's basically how to keep our Volkswagens cool in a um, you know two or three well actually seven minutes so the, it is a little more in detail than that but you get the idea so like subscribe comment below thumbs up thumbs down if you leave a thumbs down and you know who I'm talking about it's the same person over and over and I know who you are why don't you comment below on what you don't like and uh, we'll just take it from there. One more thing, I want to start giving a shout out to uh, at the end of the videos to um, one subscriber or actually uh, somebody who's actually smaller in the uh, Volkswagen, uh, the, the Yahoo, Yahoo, the YouTube community and without the little guys, you know, us bigger guys, well I'm not even big, I mean I'm, I'm a little guy too. I want I want to you know give a shout out to one subscriber and this this video is gonna be uh, VW life great channel check them out great videos they do a bunch of bus stuff I'm not a bus guy yet but I love buses so you guys are doing great keep up the good work we'll catch you on the next video as always God bless you God bless your family you guys have a good day and we'll catch you on the next video